I have a hard time finding something that's more pathetic than an internet prankster. They're like a dying species trying to let the world know they still exist by uploading the most atrocious internet content. I've wanted to talk about pranksters for so long but couldn't really figure out how to hop on that bandwagon. Until now, I want to make it very clear I have no intent of giving this prankster any credit. I just want to talk about what all they've done and how they've basically been a burden to society. Hey guys, there is actually candy in this van, but you guys know the story where it's like, oh, like kids, don't go, don't go to the sign that, the, like the van that says that they're giving out free candy. Like everyone's heard that stereotype before, and the parents always say to watch out for the white van with free candy on it. So I'm literally doing a social experiment today on little kids using children for internet clout. Well, that hasn't backfired in the history of social media. This is basically her entire persona. Someone who goes out of their way to harass others with these pranks, which genuinely can't even be called that because most of them are crimes. Kidnapping children and calling it a prank is shameful to say the least. And based on that intro alone, needless to say, I don't like her. Hey. Do you guys want some free candy? Free candy? We're giving out free candy. No free candy? You sure? You want free candy? This is just wrong on so many levels. What's unique about this prankster in particular is they're a streamer. These pranks are all streamed live on Kick, and to my knowledge, she hasn't been banned for it. How that's possible? I don't know. She must have Saul Goodman on speed dial, which is good for what's about to happen next. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, get out of the car. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. You're out of the car. Oh my god. Get on the ground. No, hands up. Hands up. No, hands up. Get on the ground. Get out of the car now. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. So that stream ended with her getting arrested. At first, that seemed wild, and she even posted a response on the platform formerly known as Twitter, stating, Police arrested me last night thinking I had kidnapped children. Gee, I wonder why! I had three helicopters in the sky searching for me and 15 cop cars. I'm finally out of jail. Well, turns out that was all fake. Apparently, we're just faking child abduction and being arrested for internet clout now. The officers in that stream were fake, which is a risky stunt in general because they were impersonating them on a public road. Like I said, her whole shtick is basically just being a burden to society and harassing others for attention. I'd have more respect for a former crackhead whose job it was to lick the bathrooms clean. At least they made an effort to get their life on track and provide some kind of service. Whereas, this is just the beginning for this prankster. She recently went viral for some sort of body paint trend, which essentially is painting one's skin to look like clothes and then going out into public like that. So for her prank, she does this and decides to paint her legs to look like she's wearing a pair of pants, and then goes to a gym to film people's reactions. So what? If you don't have clothes on, you need to be out of here. I do have clothes on. That's funny. Go closer. I work in the industry. He's saying you need to leave. He's not. Excited. No, no. I mean, she's covered. So yeah, she's covered. She's covered. So we're not supposed to video take I'm recording just her. Yeah, you're the one that actually came up to me. This prank can best be summarized from a scene in the Amazing World of Gumball. And to quote, Let me make this clear for you. If you wear fake clothes, you're naked, which is bad. It's pathetic that she tries to play the Uno reverse card and calls that man the man she was harassing a weirdo while she's out in public without anything covering her waist down. This actually reminds me of another trend that happened a year ago where clout obsessed people would film themselves at the gym in hopes of catching other people staring at them, calling them out as stalkers because they so much as blinked in their general direction. I made a whole video on that topic, so the fact that she's revived said trend and is now calling guys creeps at the gym because they have a problem with her bare ass being exposed while she's using the equipment, it's shameful. But not as shameful as this next prank, which involves her and some friends twerking on elderly citizens. Well, 
The term respect your elders has been thrown out the goddamn window. Nobody watching enjoyed that. It was this prank in particular that really pissed me off because as somebody who's worked in a retirement home before, I can assure you nobody wants to spend their final days being props for your content. Judging by the crowd in this clip, it's clear nobody's enjoying anything and not to discredit the victims, but I can't imagine the performers enjoy shaking their ass for some old folks. Also, that guy looks like he's about one bell ring away from summoning the Mexican cartel. If you thought everything we've seen so far was awful, just wait because the worst has yet to come. Her most infamous stunt has to be when she trespassed onto a college campus, enters a lecture, and proceeds to set up a water slide during their class. <laughs> Should we lay out right here? Our project right here? Um, right here, yes. Right here. Yeah. Works. Sorry. We, we, we're late for our school project. We're laying it out right now. We're here. The school representative. Oh. We're with, we were we're told, with the spirits team about building like spirits. It's like a cheer team. Yeah. Let's make sure it's good. We're just going to make sure it's all nice and safe. I just... I can't believe this is real. But then again, I couldn't believe that other crap she did, so this seems par for the course. No, 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 no. Here, We're square all the soap. Is this enough water. soap? Yeah. Make sure you get the water. Sorry, guys. Here you go. Here, water. Yo, bus, you come for my stuff. I mean, I don't think people want to do that in any other spot. Yeah, they, they told us to come to this one. They told us this one because this is the best one to do it at. They said this was the best one. Do it first. Everyone in that class hates them. They've committed a sin worse than murder by inflicting cringe upon everyone in that class, forcing them to suffer as they wait for some sort of authority figure to step in and put a stop to it. No! <laughs> Deli, go! Who's next? Who's next? Go! Come on, Modine! I will say, considering this stun happened in Miami, that might have been their saving grace. I can absolutely believe this is standard Florida person bullshit. But congratulations, they'll most likely get sued for it. Thank you. Guys, leave. you Miami school spirit, raise it up. Best school to go to, enroll. He's enrolled. He doesn't like slip and slides, though. He's also five hundred thousand dollars. Sorry, in debt. everyone. Like I said, everyone in that class hates them. I looked into it, and right before they were rudely interrupted, that class was reviewing for some sort of midterm or final exam. So yeah, they very well could end up thousands of dollars in debt if they don't pass the exam because the review session was interrupted so these streamers could turn the classroom into a water park for their own amusement. Imagine being such an insufferable group of assholes that even by Florida standards you're looked down on. It's always fascinating how pranksters actively find ways to ruin their life, whether it's sucker punching people in public or harassing senior citizens. The worst part about it all is having videos videos like this come up in potential job opportunities makes it impossible for them to be hired. Because they'll never be accepted back into society, their only chance at obtaining a somewhat livable wage is by continuing making this monstrosity and uploading it on the internet. It's a never-ending cycle of cringe. I am in disbelief that this is the new kick meta, and it's pathetic to say the least. I hope she has a come-to-Jesus moment and realize what all she's done was shameful and makes an attempt to better herself in the future. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this, and that's really about it, so.